Hey peeps, it's me, the original Queen Bee, coming back at you with another fabulous wreath project. I'm excited about this one. I was commissioned to make a sports themed wreath, specifically the St. Louis Cardinals baseball team. Remember to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate that. Let's get started. For this wreath, I am going to do the bubble method with the deco mesh. And um, I'm using the five and a half inch wide uh, deco mesh. And this is a 14 inch frame. Since the St. Louis Cardinals are their colors are red and white. So what I'm gonna do to get this started is on the crossbar. So this would be number one. This is number two, number two crossbar. I'm gonna go ahead and zip tie the red down. To that bar, like so, underneath. And then of course use pipe cleaners to secure the bubbles. Now these are the 12 inch, so you're gonna cut those in half. Actually, I'm gonna use the red pipe cleaners for that. Alrighty, so you're gonna come up through and you're going to start making your 10 inch in length, which is about 10 to 20, your 10 inch in length bubbles. I'm going to go a little bit shorter. Scrunch and secure to that second ring. And you want to do that very close to the crossbar where you started. Only give it a couple twists because, as you know, you'll come in there with ribbon. Okay, so as I'm coming to the end of this first section between these two crossbars here, and I'm bringing my mesh up. I'm going to put the pipe cleaner on this section across the crossbar and that second ring to secure it down. And what you'll notice when you're working with this method and you have the pipe cleaners, um, you know, so close together, you will notice that they will start moving along the um, frame. So what I like to do is when I get to this part, just to make sure that it's secure, because I like to make sure my wreaths are very secure, um, I'm just gonna do a dab of um, hot glue behind each of those pipe cleaners. Yes, with my squeaky glue gun. I don't know why this thing is squeaky, but you know what? It's kind of grown on me, so I can't get rid of it. And there we go. Let it dry a little bit, of course. And then continue. Okay, as you can see, we're coming to the end of this first section, actually this first ring of red. And you will notice that the ribbon will start 
catching on itself on e the other sections on the pipe cleaners. It gets a little um, challenging, but that's the nature of this beast right here. Flip it over. See how it's catching? Cut that end off. Like so. Take my hot glue gun and secure down those. So that ring is done. Now on to the white. Okay, so I'm coming underneath with my zip tie on that one bracket, laying down the deco mesh and securing this end with that zip tie. And this is gonna be the fun part because this is gonna be catching on this and this is gonna be catching on itself and oh boy. So I'm gonna stand for this. I like to put my ribbon down on the ground. We're gonna give it a good old flip and start coming up. Can you see? So now I'm right here. This is the second bar that we were working on. This is the third and this is the inner. So I am going to come up right here between the inner and the third bar. Okay, so that one roll had come to the end and I have now attached a new roll. And since I was close to this bar, that was good luck. I brought the final um, bubble in and I'm on the back side of the wreath now and I'm gonna come through with my pipe cleaner, uh, not pipe cleaner, my zip tie and I'm going to secure this down. Flip it over. So, I'll keep at it. There it is, the outer red ring is done and the inner white St. Louis Cardinals colors. You see how full that is in the center. And there's a view of the back. So now it's time to add ribbons and decoratives, which is the super fun part, the ribbons. I got a cute red and white stripe. I got a ribbon with some baseballs on. Another one with baseballs. Look at this cute one. Take me out to the ball game. I also have some fun stuff. Baseball bat from Hobby Lobby, and I stained it couple cardinals and look at this adorable ornament I got 
Now I'm going to cut um, 12 inch sections for my ribbon. to put these into that fabulous wreath. Okay, so I'm putting the ribbon into the wreath using the pipe cleaners that are attached to these existing um, bubbles that I put in. So I'm taking one of the striped ribbons and then a baseball ribbon going sort of crossways and then another one crossway with the other one and then I'm taking this one actually I'm gonna go this way with it and then just gathering it in the center these are not wired so they will lay in there however and I'm going in strategically placing them certain distances apart from each other to make it aesthetically pleasing to the eye see how I'm doing that it's simple really Attach the baseball bat. I did a little secret trick. I took some E6000 glue and a little bit of this ribbon and I glued a um, pipe cleaner to the back of the bat um, using the ribbon as the conduit to hold the pipe cleaner on. So I'm letting that dry and while I'm letting that dry I um, I had found some Americana ribbon in my drawer and I decided to incorporate that into the wreath. Since it is baseball themed, you know, all American and all that good stuff. So I thought that would be great. And look how cute that is. Okay, so as you can see, I've been busy. I did put in our baseball bat and I got the glove down here. And I printed out the Cardinals logo and glued that on. And then I will put some Mod Podge spray, the clear acrylic, to seal that in. Okay, so I wanted to show you also how I'm putting the Cardinals on. So I'm taking a scrap piece of felt and a red pipe cleaner. And I'm gluing that pipe cleaner onto the bottom like so apply a little bit of the glue you know you guys would miss that if i didn't have that squeaky glue gun place your pipe cleaner i kind of run it into the glue a little bit get it good and goopy and then place the felt scrap piece 
down on that and hold for a few moments. And this one's gonna go down towards the bottom of the bag. And after I set this in, I will take an overhead bird's eye view video of this finished wreath. I'll be right back. And here it is, the finished product. I have to now spray the clear acrylic um, Mod Podge on it and seal it up. And it's pretty much finished. I will be shipping this off to its owner tomorrow. And I'm so excited. I hope that they like it. It's adorable. There you go. So until next time, my friends, stay crafty and take care. Mm -hmm.